Aizong. The Zom came in here. A lot of our people <laughs> had been inboxing me and telling me, reminding me that we told you these people are no good. They will abuse you. They will insult you. They will malign you. They will libel you. That we have no relationship whatsoever with these fellows. My fellow brothers and sisters, his own people. Nobody leaves what belongs to him and gives to another person simply because the person can insult, the person can abuse, the person can run his mouth. I am a Biafra. Biafra belongs to the John Nation first and foremost before any other people. Having said that, I want to say, like I said before, one of our brothers said those who are associating us with Biafra were warning them. And I told them, I told him, and I told others like him, you are warning who? That you have more right to the John Nation than myself? Who are you in the John Nation to warn me? I was president of a Joy Youth Council. I was deputy president of the Joy Youth Council. I was vice president of the Joy Youth Council. I was the first secretary of the first convention of the Joy Youth Council. So what are your credentials? What are your pedigrees in the struggle to contradict me when I'm talking? Yes, the joy is an egalitarian society. It's a society where everybody must have his say. But that does not mean you arrogate to yourself that which you don't have. We have not forced anybody that you must accept Biafra. What we are saying, we are Biafrans. If you choose not to be a Biafran and you want to go to the U.S. and become... Ijo American. You want to go to Abuja and become Ijo Nigerian. You are free to do so. But Ijo territory, the Ijo people, God placed us and created us as we are friends. And there's nothing you can do to change it now. Except you are going to go to God and ask God to change it. Since you don't have such powers and you can't go to God to change it, we will remain what we are. We are Biafrans. The excuse of somebody abusing me will not make me to remove myself. Can I remove my skin from my body and still survive? No, I am Biafran. I cannot remove my skin from my body. All historians, all geographers in the Joland, including the doing of our struggle, Isaac Adagaboro, clearly stated that we are Biafrans. We might disagree with other people, but that does not mean that we refuse to be what we are and give it to other people. It's not possible. Having said that, I want to come to the reality. What is the reality? From the times of our father, from King Amakri, King Jaja, King Koko, Isaac Adakaboro, Harold Dababriye, don't mind my uh, order of stating their names. We have been struggling and struggling and struggling and struggling. To assert ourselves as a job people. 
but all our efforts had fallen short of giving us what we desire. How can you be doing something over and over the same way and expect a different result? If King Amakri was not successful, King Jaja was not successful, King Coco was not successful, Harold Dapabrie was not successful, Azikburu was not successful, and all our collective efforts after these, our fathers, we are not successful. Then we must look back at ourselves and examine ourselves and ask ourselves the question, why did our fathers fail? Because we think that we can go it alone. We can do it alone. Ah, There is no way we can do it alone. A few years ago, he just were in pockets. The Nembe man was Nembe Nongu. He was on his own. The Bani man was on his own. The Kalawai man was on his own. The May man was on his own. We have Toboro. They were on their own. We have Tobu. They were on their own. But a few people came together. Padapabriye, Pawekezi, Dr. Kobo, Pabrizvi, and others came together and insisted that we come together. And we, the youths, Tiko Goriba, myself, cannot, Anki, John John Olivier, we came together as youths and said, Ijo will never be divided again. We must pull all our strength together and fight as a job people. Look at the benefits, even though it is not enough. Look at the benefit that had accrued to us over time. All the efforts of Joshua Formodo in standing up, in organizing the jaws under high and sea. Look at what it had brought to us. Before this time, what do we have? What, what was agreeing to us? Who recognized us? There is power in the collectivity of our strength. There is strength in the collectivity of our strength. When we come together with the Ephes, with the Ogonis, with the Bibios, with the Anangs, with the Oron, with the Evos, with the Yakos, and all the others, that is when we will have the strength to confront our enemies who are spread from Gambia down to Rwanda. The people of Central African Republic fought them to stand still and expel them from their land. It is possible for us to do so. Let us come together with all our neighbors, with all our brothers as a job people. We cannot continue to be under this pretense that we can go it alone. It is not possible. We cannot continue to suffer on our land in the midst of the blessings that God has bestowed on us. My brothers and sisters, the John Nation is too strong. The John Nation is too strong to be overrun by any other people.